I'm a murderer! <laughs> Game makes no sense. This is the most stumped that I've been on a puzzle in years. OMG, Sean Hip made a new puzzle. Snow Day puzzle. He just came out with this. I am very happy to see Sean back, heck yeah. He said he was thinking about making a new puzzle. I'm glad that he did indeed make a new puzzle. Enjoy your snow day full of snowball fights and deadly icicles. Sweet, let's do it. The snow day puzzle by the great Sean Hip too. He only has a 33 second world record, so I can't have that, ma that many steps. I always like it when a puzzle doesn't have too much waiting involved, once you actually know what to do. It has a checkpoint. <laughs> That's unexpected. Uh, okay, you can actually see the goal. I thought for a second you couldn't. Checking out the puzzle real quick. The goal is all the way over here. And I don't know how, well, where's, okay, I don't know how we're gonna get through this but it looks like we're gonna need to break through something, something, icicle, something, something. So you see there's two different colors of icicle. I think that the, um, I think that this one is the one that falls and this is the one that will stay there no matter what. Though I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't even know what's going on here, but it looks like we can just go over there and get that checkpoint. I guess let's mess around with that. And then let's explore this pow, I guess? I don't know what our goal is. Let's see if we can, step one, figure out what the heck we're doing. Oh, that works. Look at that, I can sort of- <laughs> I got the head! Ah! This is a- I've created a monster! I'm sorry, I just murdered your body, pokey friend. You got this cute little hat on, too. This is, like, both cute and horrifying at the same time. I'm a murderer! <laughs> okay, that does get us the snowball, though. Oh! This is a single-use star which lets us break these. And then, oh, all of them come back, but it was indeed those that fall. Okay. And that still does nothing. Great. Well, we did absolutely nothing, but we maybe learned something, I think, possibly, potentially, maybe not though, because what do we do? Can I go on this? Oh, I can go on this pipe. <laughs> I probably should have tried that. Oh. What was that that face though? Um, I don't know what that was. Wait, was there, there's nothing I can do in here, right? <laughs> that face is hilarious. Okay. Alright, thank you. Oh, that makes the spring fall down. Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I don't want that spring to come down there. Hold on, is there a way for me to get this pow without unleashing the icicle? Yes, I can, but I can't really go over there and do anything with the pokey. Oh gosh, I just almost slipped away. All right, that doesn't do anything at all, so that's not smart. How do we accomplish literally anything? <laughs> it is good to remember that we could technically put the pal somewhere and then have the thing drop on it to activate it later. That could come in handy, maybe. We can get this and go in here. Oh, those fall. I mean, this falls. Does it do anything? What does anything... I don't see a single thing that I can actually do. I think I need to hit the on and off switch, maybe. Which I could hit with a snowball. Hold on, there is... There is a snowball over here. The thing is, is that if I go this way to get the snowball, I'm gonna have to touch that, which I think is forced on purpose. I don't think I can butt slide with the snowball. Can the snowball... <laughs> snowball can roll down there though. Oh, can I not grab this? Oh, I can't grab that while I have star power. All right, I have to hit the on and off switch to get over here. There's something that's gonna come out of this question mark block up here. I have, I have no idea what it is or even like how to begin there. So we'll worry about that later. For now, I think the first goal is to hit the on and off switch. And actually, I think I see how to do it. I've got a really cool idea. Uh, I'm just gonna try it out and see if it works. So, my idea is to roll a snowball. Oh God, there's like so many steps because it's just gonna hit that. Oh, Sean, what is this monstrosity? Oh wait, I have an idea. Wait, 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 wait. My brain is working. Hold on, hold on. The gerbils are full force. What if we put this here? That's gonna protect that block once. Something, something, something profit. Let's see what happens. Will I get the snowball? Snowball goes up there, but now I can't hit it and then get wrecked. That was closer, maybe. So if I go up and I get that snowball at the top, like let's say I hit this flag, it's the only way to really get up there. 
There's no way for me to get it back down. Oh, actually, there might be a way for me to get it back down. Yeah, there is. It'd be kind of weird, though. This can't possibly be the solution, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because I'm wasting the star power to even get up here. Unless I make a Dumbo and I don't see how to get up here without wasting the star power. Like I say, I wanted this ball. I can roll it down the hill. Is it gonna hit? Oh, it hits that. That's just bad all around. Okay, this is definitely not what you do. We can break those though, which is cool. Why did you see that? It just like popped up right there. Wait, I just went, I just clipped through that. Hold on a second. What? Oh, when you die, you... Oh. Wait, do you need to do this? No, okay, they're checking. What is the... This checkpoint, though? Oh, I think it's just a single-use star. It's just a weird single-use star. I don't think the checkpoint, like, actually does anything for you. I made it. Perfect. Solve the puzzle. Dude, look at this head. He's mocking me. He's mocking me. He just keeps laughing and mocking me. Oh, wow. If I actually got up there, I could hit the... I mean, there's no way I'm getting out, but I could actually hit the on and off switch from up there. All right, I feel like I have the basic idea for what I need to do, which is rolling a snowball up and around that little cubby there. I just don't know how to get the snowball. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. Puzzling bad. Do, 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 do. Puzzling terribly. Wait a minute. 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 Learning. Learning. Maybe learning? Is this learning? I still don't know how to save this. It's so hard to get through here with this, which doesn't seem, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> Sometimes when I get stuck in puzzles, I've noticed that it's because I'm assuming something that won't work actually will work. I would say it's the two most common reasons that I can't solve a puzzle are either I've like, I've, I've, in my head, I've said that what is actually the correct solution won't work or like it won't do what I think it's gonna do So I assume it's not gonna work, but really it doesn't make different and I've like made an incorrect assumption Or I'm completely blind and missing something else that I didn't even realize I could be doing I thought that I thought I might have had it when I put the pow over on top of that But there's nothing to do with that snowball up there that I can figure out So either there is something to do with the snowball up there or I've got the order or something wrong here I don't know which it is let me try booping this guy once. I want to see what happens when the head walks into the spring. Does it turn into a snowball? What does it do? Or does it stay as a head? Oh, it stays as a head. So my plan would have never worked in the first place. This is not the plan. <laughs> okay, I think the plan is the original plan. You roll a snowball up into that crevice. It rolls back down into the on and off switch. This is the most stumped that I've been on a puzzle in years. I can't think of anything to do and this weird thing is is there's not very many things to do okay so this is what i wanted to do the whole time but i'm assuming it's not going to work while the spring is there <sighs> all right what happens if i roll it from here yay <laughs> so that's what i want to do but how do we do it without hitting that block? <sighs> so what we know about the puzzle is that at the very end here, we're gonna have to have hit the switch. And the only way we're ever gonna survive this section, as far as I can tell, is with star power. Though I don't know what comes out of this. I'm assuming that the star power from this is going to be used at the end here. If that assumption's wrong, then I'm screwed. But assuming that assumption's right, that must mean, and assuming that we have to roll the snowball up here and then have it roll back without activating this. The only thing that makes sense is that we need to get this top snowball first and we have to put the pow over this to prevent getting star power so we can use it later. So we can't activate this, which means we can't do anything with this guy, and we have to go up here first. So let's play with that more. All right, what can we do to maintain this? Maybe we can just drop it. It just doesn't work. I told Sean Hip what I was doing, and he says you're on the right track. <laughs> so there's gotta be some way to get this freaking thing out of here. Maybe, possibly. Ah! This snowball sucks! 
hate this snowball so much. I want to make a level that is composed nothing of snowball, but snowballs, and just me with like a fire flower just incinerating all of them. Oh my gosh! I don't even know what I did! I don't even know what I did! I think I just grabbed it before it rolled off the edge? I don't even know what I did. Oh, wait, how do I get up here? Does this even help me? This doesn't even help me, does it? <laughs> I guess I could use the snowball to protect against the falling ice. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ah, this stupid snowball. I hate it so much. I hate the snowball. How does this help us? How does it help? I hate the snowball. Okay, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna ever get the snowball through the vine. So maybe what I want to do is put it there. I don't know if that's gonna hit it. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. I don't know what this is gonna do for me. <laughs> this gives me time to poke the pokey. I can poke. Oh, it, I didn't put it down far enough. But what would happen if for some reason we ignore Somebody unlocked 100% of the cerebral capacity. 100%? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I made this so much harder than it has to be. I spent so long trying to get it through there. And you don't even have to get it through there. So maybe this helps. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Does that help me? Does that help me? All right, what do we do with... That has to be the first step. So what do we do... What do we do with it now? Now if the POW goes off, will it be correct? If we do it like this? Did we have all of the steps? We were just missing that one? <gasps> it gives me the snowball! And then we do this! Wait. <laughs> no! I didn't. I have to run while that's happening. Oh, oh my gosh. That was the easiest solution in the world that took me 7,000 years. I'm pretty sure I spent over an hour and I could not figure out for the life of me how to get this stupid snowball. And all you do is put it here and grab it. No! <laughs> Carl Blind, why? Why do I have this curse? No. This is all you do, isn't it? I had the freaking, I had the checkpoint thing. I had the pow on top of that. I knew I had to roll the snowball. Oh, I just didn't see how to get the second snowball. And that makes the, that makes this guy, this snowball drop down instead of going up there because the pokey, the snow pokey thing is one one pokey length shorter. So we do this, jump up here. Wait, I think I need to do this. Oh no, that's it. What's this do? Oh, it's just to check to make sure we have the star. Wait, how do I win? Wait, 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 no! Wait a minute. Oh, the, <laughs> the, the fireball has to break the ice blocks. I didn't think about that. I thought it was low enough to get the checkpoint or to get the goal. No! Oh my god. Okay, I think I get this. We go up here. We have all the time in the world now. We. Uh oh. Okay, we activate that! Yes! And then we can go down there. Oh my god. Dude, that took like an hour and a half. And it was like four easy steps. <laughs> that was a happy little puzzle by Sean Hip too. That nearly drove us mad. I need to play more puzzles. I need to play more puzzles because I'm out of practice. Let's play more puzzles. I just want to point out that in the first like five minutes, I figured out every single step in that puzzle except for the easiest step. <laughs> the only step that I did not figure out was literally the easiest step. Why, brain, why? Okay, this is Vaporize Puzzle by Sean Hip 2 
Version two, need a hint for puzzle. Here it is, as long as I do not run out of spec. <laughs> well, no hints it is. Though I guess we have the title that it might involve POWs. We already know that POWs create a really weird wave, but I'm assuming there's gonna be a difference. There's gonna be something different about it this time. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's get our handy handout. To beat the puzzle, it looks like we need to go through this door, I would guess, but not, not 100%. And I think that door leads up here. There's a lot of things to get. We have a POW, we have a P-Switch, and the victory condition is we have to collect this 50 coin. So, okay, I think this is gonna be the trick here is to get to this 50 coin area, it looks like we need to somehow get through, we need to hit a switch, which is right there, an on and off switch. And then we also need to, I think, hit a P-switch that's possible to get through this with something other than a P-switch, so we'll see, but there is a P-switch here. And then I don't know what the heck all this stuff is, let's just figure it out. If, oh, look at this. If we go through here, we have sort of a timer where we can't get back here unless we go fast. But I think there is enough time to like, let's say we want to run over here and grab the P-switch. We might be able to get back in time, but that would be, that'd be a little bit tricky. Um, let's see what's, oh, we can't, we gotta do something though, cause look, we can't go in here at all. So there's no way to go this way until we've hit the switch. And that's confusing because the switch is down there. So how do we hit a switch? Well, I think we need to figure out what, oh wait, what does this door do? Oh, that's interesting. The, you see how the POW makes the 50 coin fall? I think that's gonna be something to do with the trick. So this does give us infinite. Wow, see, look at that. The 50 coin goes away and it never comes back. So this, get, this takes us here, but it's not really useful being here. Okay, let's try this again without actually hitting the POW. Oh, I just got an idea. I just got an idea. What if I run over here really quick, grab the POW. <laughs> it's hard to do, but that actually, I think is possible. I don't know if that's cheese, Sean, or what. Uh, we'll, we'll try, we'll assume that that's somehow maybe cheese for now and just come back to it later. Can I grab this? This is so stupid. I can't, I can't pick it up. I have to hit it. Game makes no sense! Why can't I pick it up? Well, if I do hit it, then I can hit this, which is nice. Yeah, I would be tempted to throw the POW to lower those coins up there, but I can't because then it would lower the 50 as well and wreck us. But at some point, we can get the POW and put it over here, and that does let us... Ooh, okay, that does let us hit the P-switch. Oh, look at this. Somewhere in there, we did something that... Oh, it was the... Once you've hit the P-switch, this spits out another POW, you can't use it anymore. Oh, that's tricky, because now we can't do anything at all. Okay, we need we need ideas. I'm gonna try this again, and I, again, I don't know if this is cheese, but like, yeah, there's no way I'm... I don't know if that's cheese, but it's not that hard cheese, so... Let's see what this does. Okay, now we have... Oh! Hitting the switch allowed us to grab the P-switch. That's interesting. But with this switch status, we can't go through the door and I feel like that's a problem somehow. Cause is there another switch on this map somewhere? There could be a switch hidden right here that I can't see. Right, we can't, so you don't know what block is down there. I feel like something ain't right though. I could do a P-switch jump and get up there, but I don't even know if that would help. And obviously that's not what you want to do. What else happens when you hit this P-switch? Not a whole lot. You can't get high enough up here to even get up here normally. So we need to do something not like that. All right, I got one more idea for where we should go at the beginning. Let's try something completely different at the beginning. Let's, oh, I can't go through this area without hitting the P-switch. I think this is a trap of some, no, wait, wait, wait. It's not a trap if I do it like this, I think. Yeah, so I was worried that I, I was gonna ha I was gonna be forced to hit this P-switch, but I can do it like that and then I don't have to hit it. Okay, that lets me get down here. Oh, but without hitting the P-switch, there's no point in coming down here. Hold on, let's go back and hit the P-switch. Does this P-switch respawn? I have no idea if this P-switch respawns. Also, we could do something where we do that and then go through the door, and it might, I don't know, it's probably possible with the POW wave to like clear some of the coins and not others. Yeah, look, this is, oh, if that, if that launcher shoots the POW to the side, I think it's gonna give us a spring. I think we wanna do that. How do we do that? That's why these donuts are here. These donuts sort of force you... Oh, if I'm carrying the pow... Wait, oh, it goes through that side. Wait, what? Hold on. If I'm carrying the pow... Does this do anything? 
Well, if I throw this, it'll spit out another one, but that's probably bad. It does give me this spring, though. Look at that. That's got to be part of the solution somehow. But what's another way to get it to do that? But we've already messed up, but I want to see if there might be some other way to get this to work. Maybe it's the switch status, too? No, we can't get through here without the switch set. Vaporizer. What happens if I... See if I th oh, that actually works. So if I throw the pow out of the map, you see it does despawn and that lets a new one respawn. Maybe there's another way to make the pow vaporize vaporize without without dropping the coin. Or we just have to get the coin first. But I feel like you need this to get the coin. Which is the weird part. Oh I got an idea. Hold on, I got an idea. Ooh, I got an idea. I, think I can hit this and it respawns, right? Yeah, I can hit that and it respawns. So here's my plan. Wait, what happens if the path's there? That's a bad idea, probably. Yeah, that's okay, though. I just wanted to test it. Um, Here's my idea. What if I hit this P-switch, come down here, and then I put the POW in these coins? Ugh. <laughs> yes, that's it! And now we get the spring! Yes! We did it! We're puzzling good! Let's go! Now we have a sprang. And what can we sprang with the sprang? I think sprang will help us get up here. And I have another idea. I want to bring this power with still. Let's hit that just in case. Oh! Right, I forgot we're gonna need to switch still. We're gonna need to hit the switch still. Um, I think I want, hold on, I think I want to reset and yeah, yeah, now that we've got that coin out of the way, now we can go down there and that's gonna make this easier, I think. Now we go back to the bottom without having to worry about hitting the switch immediately. So spring can go here, we can keep the pow. We do not need to hit the switch yet, which I think is important because we can put this here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why does this always happen? I think if I recall last time, there was one issue with this, and that is that once I have hit the, um, once I've hit the on and off switch, if I destroy the pow down here, I can't get it back again. I don't know how big of a deal that actually is, though. Not completely sure how big of a deal that actually is. But with this here, I should be able to walk across this. Okay. Now we can hit this, but yeah, the problem is, is that it's going to destroy the pow. And then when this thing poops out a new pow, it's no longer accessible. So now we can't get that anymore. Well, what did I just, I just like hit something. That was so weird. Is that the slope? What the heck was that? So yeah, and I can't get back through here, which means that I can't, I, I can't get the pow like the other way. Um, so that might be bad. I don't know. Let's do this though. And now the problem here is how do we get through this? I have a feeling if I spin jump, it's not going to work. So rather than waste my time trying that, I'm going to lose because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Shoot! I think we're missing a step still. How can we do this differently? Hmm. I don't think there's any way to get across these spikes without destroying the pal like that. Well, I guess let's find out what happens up here, but I have a feeling it's bad. I feeling it's bad news bears. Is there anything else that we can do here with this spring? I don't think so. And we need the spring to get up here. Well, let's see what happens, but I think this is going to be bad. Is this a one-way trap? Because I actually got it, but can I actually get out of this? I have a feeling it's a one-way trap and I can't get out of it because look, there's no room to spin. Yeah, it's an interesting trap. I think I need something to push the spiny off of there or something, something like that. Maybe I can push it before hitting the P-switch. Let's try that. I also want to try something else weird. Let's see if this does anything. What happens if I throw the pow up right here? That's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> do not recommend. I got an idea. I need to know if the spring can block this from spinning something out. Oh, it can. I think it can. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I get what to do. We leave the spring right there and it blocks it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. I got it. I got it! I'm puzzling! Let's go! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the pow down there, but we're gonna have the spring sitting right here because it will stop the thing from spitting another pow out. 
Okay, man, I love how I love how Sean reuses the same thing multiple, multiple times in completely different ways. Okay, so I think what we want to do is not hit the P switch yet. Okay, okay. Now it shouldn't spit. Yeah, see, it doesn't spit out a new pow. Heck yeah. What is down here? Oh, you could actually. Maybe this is where we're gonna win. Actually, yeah, I think this is actually how you're gonna win. We'll just pretend that I thought I knew that was what was gonna happen all along. Um, okay, so now we can come over here, grab the spring, and kick it away. And we should be able to, it should just feed us the pow. Yes, yes, now we have the pow. Oh, and I believe that we can use this pow to clear the spiny? Spike top, spiny, spine top, whatever. <laughs> spiny. Uh, let's see what order we wanna do this here. Okay, spring is gonna do that. We're gonna have to activate the P switch. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if I use the, if I throw the pow into the spiny and then immediately collect the coin. It might be okay, or that might be a trap. <laughs> I think I'm free to hit the P-switch and take my time though. So let's, uh, let's hit the P-switch. Let's collect these. Now maybe what I wanna do is boop it off with this. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. All right, that should be it. Yeah, heck yeah. We did it. Puzzling good in the neighborhood. Let's go. Those were fun. Um, I think those were on the easy side for Sean Hit Puzzles. Maybe he finally, finally realized that he had gone mad and stepped it back a little bit. It's time. Let's do a Sean Hip Puzzle. To death do us part puzzle by the great Sean Hip. Hint, when a clear condition is met, the item it required will not respawn. Okay, so there's gonna be clear conditions and once you meet them, stuff won't spawn again. So that's gonna mess with us, I guess? All right, let's check it out. I'm excited to do a Shauna puzzle because they are, they are generally trolly and generally very difficult. So let's uh, let's get our brain juices juicelating. Let's look at what we got here. Whoa, let's look at what we got here. To get in the door at the end, we're gonna need to go into this key door. To get into that key door, we're gonna have to blow up this block. Maybe with this bomb, question mark, question mark, smiley face. But also there's this other key door here. So there's two keys. No idea how we're going to do that. No idea what's preventing us from doing that. So let's see what we can actually do right now. We have an on and off switch. We can get this shell pretty easily. And I think that's the only thing that we can get easily right now. So first, first order of business, what can we do with this shell? What else is going on? There's nothing underneath the camera. Um, there's also a P-switch door right here, which will... Okay, yeah, so right here is how I think how we're gonna get out through this P-switch door. So let's see what we can do with this shell first. Give me the shell. So now we have the shell, and it's worth knowing the Koopalin could come back to life in it. And I don't think there's anything else to do right now other than hit this on and off switch. Oh, clear condition is reach the goal after defeating all one Koopa Troopa. So it might be bad that we have already destroyed the Koopa, but this does let us hit the P switch. Does this uh, does this block do anything? Oh, all right. So this lets us go through this door here and see, yeah, the Koopa does not respawn. So we only get that Koopa once. And I, I have a feeling that we've already failed somehow, but also what the heck is that ending over there? Huh, there are all these coins here. I don't know if I want them or not but we'll just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, we could go in this key door. I think this might just be a respawn door of some sort. And also if we were to keep hitting a on and off switch, we could get this mole. I don't exactly see what the mole is gonna do for us, but we could get the mole. Maybe, oh, maybe the mole has the other key in it. What does that mean? That might be a hint, uh-oh. I don't think I want to do this, but we're doing it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so the reason this doesn't work is now there's nowhere to, there's no way to hit the switch down there. Um, I have an idea for the bomb. If I put the bomb right here, the P-switch would fall onto the ground. I don't know if that's useful. All right, I'm really digging this puzzle so far because it appears very simple. There's not very much we can do, and yet we're totally stumped. So, <laughs> if I kick the Koopa shell over here, that definitely doesn't seem very useful for us. So let's not do that. I wonder if there's any possible way to... Something we can do is to get the Koopa Ling out, but what the heck is that gonna do for us? See, we lose the Koopa shell and then he gets back into it and 
We can kind of do stuff with that. We could kick the Koopaling out. Oh, the Koopa Troopa is the thing that activates the victory condition. So that means, oh wow. That means we want to keep the Koopa, the Koopa inside the shell alive. So let's let it come back to life and then take the shell. Oh, <laughs> I forgot they do that. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to revenge after what happened to me last time. I'm gonna just stand back over here and hopefully he'll come this way now and not wreck my shit. Okay, yeah, you go away. I don't want you anymore. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go fall off the map. Hopefully that doesn't activate the victory condition. It doesn't. So now when we do this, yeah, see, look at this. Now we have not yet, um, we've not activated the victory condition, which I think means we can go in and out of this piece, which, oh, I can't go in and out of the piece, switch door. Uh oh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> well, it'll still come back to life. Hmm. How did we get that? Oh, I forgot to get the key. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot to get the key. I think we needed the key. Also, I forgot I couldn't go back through that door. But then also get the key. I don't know if collecting this coin will do anything, but let's just do it. Okay. Koopa respawns. Now we can something, something, something go through this door. What happens when we do that? Nothing different. Great. <laughs> Great. Oh, wait, wait, I actually got an idea. Wait, 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 wait. The hamsters inside my brain are spinning at full capacity. Hold on, I have an idea. We are going to wait for the peace switch. And now we're gonna use this bomb. Okay. We're gonna use this bomb right there. Yeah, now watch this. Now when we go through this door, the Koopa is going to hit that P-switch, come back, and we're gonna get the Koopa in here. Does that super help us? I don't know, I didn't think about what we're gonna do with this yet. In fact, I can't think of anything to do with it. So that's not amazing but I'll take it. What can we do with this Koopa now? I wanna, I think what I want is to hit the on and off switch. Oh, I can hit the on and off switch with the bomb again. Hold on, let's put this here. I have a feeling I don't wanna kill the Koopa yet, but I don't know how to avoid that right now. Well, I could put him in the shell and put him up there and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't know if I actually want it. Well, okay, let's just do it. Let's let him get back in the shell and then I'm gonna kick him into this like gap right here. Actually, that's gonna get him in the way too. I don't know. This is gonna get me. This is gonna get in the way no matter what I think. Uh. Yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever. We'll see if we need him later. But here's what I want to do. I want to get this bomb, and I think I want to kick it right there. Oh, is it not gonna? I wanted to kick it right here, maybe. And it should hit that on and off switch. Now that we have the bomb, if I'm down here and throw it, that might hit the on and off switch. It does hit the on and off switch. And now I can hit the on and off switch again to get the mole. Oh, but this is still problematic because... This P switch is gonna be wrong. Okay, we can do this. That gets us mole, kill mole to get key. Reset door here. But the problem is, is now we've lost the Koopa which I think is bad. Cause what, so what we would do, I think, is this. Then go back here again, get the bomb one more time, blow up this one. Are we good or bad? I can't tell if we're good or bad. Knowing Sean, calling it right now. Yeah. <laughs> When you think you're good in a Sean Hip puzzle, you're never good. <laughs> you're never good. It's really weird how the victory condition determines whether or not the, the Koopa respawns. I guess that makes sense so that you can always get it back until you've cleared the victory condition. So I'm not exactly sure how to set this up differently, but I think that this cubby right here is to hold the Koopa Lang. So we're gonna poop him out into that. And that should at least, that should make my life a little bit easier right now because first we want to, I 
think we just throw the bomb like that. Yeah, that's clearly set up to work like that. See, a nice thing I will say about the way that Sean designs puzzles is he always makes it so that there is a non-janky setup for everything. So that it's not about like juggling a bunch of items and things and getting everything all tangled. He always has good setups. And that makes it a lot easier to play. Okay, kill the mole, get the key. And now I think we will actually still get the coupling, but I think the key is we want to have the shell at the end to protect us. I think that's the main thing I did wrong last time. Because if we have the shell at the end, I think it can protect us from the spiny. So let's do this again. Now we got the shell again. And I think, let's see, I still want to use the bomb a few times. Here. Let me just put the shell over here so we don't mess anything up. I think I'm safe to kill this guy right now. And then we're going to do this one more time so that we're gonna be able to go through the door right there, but then we just have to take the shell with us through the door. Now we'll have it with us. Now we blow up this, but we have the shell. Okay, GG, hopefully, possibly, maybe, throw the shell up to protect us. Yeah, GG, all right, that wasn't bad at all. That was really nice. That was, uh. That was surprisingly more benevolent than I thought it was going to be from a shot hit puzzle. I really like that. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know.